what's up you two? Simply unluckier. And welcome back to our journey. A road to the king of games. And then I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for some more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Alright you guys, so we're at gold rank 4. Um, this will be our third part of our journey into the kingdom. For the kings. For the king of kings. And uh, yeah, so we're still we're using our dinosaur deck. I'll have the the deck um, list kind of next to next to the uh, video here, so you can check it out anytime. But yes, we had some epic duels for our last part. So once again, we're trying to get platinum this time, you guys. So let's do this. We're gonna just get right into it. It's time to duel. Uh, we fought a lot of Mako decks, um, a couple Kaibas, and let's see if we can take down another Kaiba deck. This will probably be for gold five. We're gonna get it very soon. Hopefully, we can get platinum this duel in this uh, this part. That'd be pretty epic. Also, you guys, I told you in the beginning of this series, but I'm I'm doing um, this uh, this road to the King of Games at uh, at uh, Sunday uh, 8 a.m. now PST, and so the ranks are gonna reset in an hour from now. And so if we can actually get King of Games, I know we're doing this in several parts, so I'll be posting these over the next couple weeks, but that would be pretty, pretty insane if we can get King of Games. All right, in an hour. I think it probably is gonna be impossible because, um, because you have to win like five times in a row, I think, to get to King of Games. It might even be 10, I don't even, I don't even know. I didn't look it up. But, uh, but yeah, we're gonna try. So let's see how high we can get. Getting into Platinum would be cool. You know, just that in, in and above itself. In and of itself would be cool. All right, he's starting with the back row. We got uh, Elemental Source, we got Metal Morph, and we got Mikazuri. Two traps for him. And he's going to end his turn. Bad hand? Or he's playing with the berries. If he is playing with the berries, we're good. So I'm thinking he summons lots of tokens and then tributes them for monsters. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and just attack him. Cause we got traps. We got cards that we can use. We're not afraid of them golden apples. Now if he has another golden apples. So if he has two golden apples, we're gonna win the game right now. Damage step. Declared battle. Damage step. Damage step. Ooh! Ooh! He's trying to get greedy with his golden apples. He is getting greedy. 2200, baby. Boom! Get out of here. Look at this guy. He was going to go double golden apples. I bet you. Wow, get out of here. Can't deal with the dinos. Trying to do some shenanigans right now. It's not going to work, baby. Look at that quick victory. That's at least 4,000, baby. Oh, baby. There we go. Gold rank five. Come on. Really? I think that was three win. Man. All right. Here we go. Let's do this. That was a quick one. That was like two minutes. That's what I like to see, baby. Another Kaiba. I got to look at these names, see if we fight the same guy in a row. All right. Winog, I think was his name. Oh, well, this guy's got the Pegasus shenanigans going on. And if you guys haven't seen our Pegasus farm video, uh, check it out. I think we did it, uh, what was it like? It was like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, whatever it was. But we got 8 million points. I think overall, I might have taken a screenshot. I think I got 10 million before the event ended. Oh, wait. I think in the video I got 5 and then I got 8. I don't know what I did. But yeah, so we had lots of millions. Oh wow, two order to charges. So we're gonna keep one in our hand and we're gonna summon Rex here. Um, if he has Karibo, that sucks. This hand's kind of like iffy, if you know what I'm saying? But we got order to charges. We just need to draw some more normal monsters. Okay. Gosh, so much is going on on that Pegasus map. Kind of makes me want to play it. Okay. But yeah, we dealt 18,000 damage in that video. 
that Pegasus farming video, you guys. So that's still the highest damage I've ever done. 18,000. Okay, let's see what he does. I'm curious. I'm very curious to see what the dragon deck does. Sergeant Electro. Once per turn, you target one face down card, your opponent's spell traps on one of those cards face on the field that cannot be activated. We'll kill him next, but we can't activate order to charge because we need normals. So what I'm thinking right now is, should we chain in response? Is he going to equip this guy with an equipment? I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to leave him. Freak, he has an equipment. Okay. Damn. So he would have had a 1700 with the equipment the other way around. We need a normal monster right now. Or a protective trap. I think Azuri's okay. We really need a normal monster next turn. Wait, why am I at 2300? I, I don't understand. I was gaining 300 attack because Sergeant Electro was on the field. Oh, fire! I gained 500 attack because I had a fire monster on the field. Whoa, I forgot about that effect. Elemental Saurus, what a man! What a man! What a man! Dude, this guy just straight won me the game by himself! What? What a man! I might have should have just attacked the other guy. Would have done 1,100 points of damage. Jeez. Oh, he's setting a card face down. We're good, baby. We're golden. Give me that normal. That normal. Heart of the cards. Guide me. Ah! All right, all right, all right. We'll deal. We still got monsters to summon. So let's definitely get rid of that guy first. Just so we don't have to deal with him. And please be a normal monster. Just nothing. Be, be nice. That's nice. This guy's a ritual deck. Is he playing like a blue eyes ritual deck? We got Ririoki for that crap. Don't have to worry. We draw a normal. We're golden. We're good, guys. Boom. 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 What a game. What a game. Dude, we got GG right here. Oh, there's that normal. We got GG right here with the elemental sources, baby. Let's do this. Boom. Boom. Bro fist. <laughs> wow. I cannot believe he gained 500 attack from fire. I forgot. Look at that. I was all prepared to use Mikazuri and everything. I was like, all right, all right. How are we doing this? How are we doing this? But no. Elemental Source was just like, I got this. I got this. All right, you guys. Here we go. Gold rank five. That's right. Yes. Let's keep it up. I think if we get like two or three wins right here, right now, platinum in this video, boom. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. The Rojas. There. Power Dark, huh? 21 card deck, huh? All right, welcome to my kingdom. Oh, no normal monsters again with order to charge, huh? Okay. Still not a bad hand. We're going to go ahead and set this order to charge. And then we're going to go and summon... We're going to summon Elemental Source here. We're going to we're gonna say go. We're going to draw... We're going to draw a normal monster next turn. It's going to happen. I believe in the heart of the cards. Do you? All right, Yami. What you got, Duelist? It's interesting. As we're leveling up, the duels... The duelists are, like, playing faster, if that makes sense. Like, they're not lagging out as much and they're all this stuff when I was playing in silver I didn't record that that was that was pretty annoying like the guys would just sit there for like 10 turns or like five minutes per turn and just be mean because they're losing kind of thing this guy's taking his time now see I'm jinxing myself now that I'm saying something but 
Maybe he's lagging, or he's just giving up because he has a bad hand. But yeah, it's silver, I felt like that happened over and over again. Normal dinosaur, right here, right now. Right here, right now. Card trader can only use during the standby phase. I thought it was during the main phase, that's crazy. Ooh, I drew another order charge, it's not good. Not good, we needed a dinosaur, guys. We just have to attack the face down, this is bad. Oh no! Oh no! Ouch. Okay. If we're gonna keep this win streak going, we really need to just draw. We have three, three, seven. We have 15 cards in our deck right now, and I have seven. We have seven normals. We have a. 50% chance of drawing one right now. Just do it. Do it. He's playing Cerberus. Crap. All right. He's going to attack. Um... I mean, I think we just have to destroy the Cerberus. Don't really have a choice here. Okay. Any monster now, really, would be nice. Black Pen is going to deal five. That was a two for two, but we took some damages. Draw. That is kind of a monster. So let's read it. Uh, discard one card in your hand, target one dinosaur, and special summon it. No, negate the effects of that monster on the field. Darn. So it is still an 1800, though. We really need to draw a monster, guys. It really just needs to happen. The great magician who can hold her own. The dark magician! That's just kind of sad. We're going to lose through Dark Magician Girl. How do we not draw the monsters? All right, battle phase. I know this card can be used during the battle phase. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. We're going to discard our order to charge. Ah, oh, man. Oh, man. Did we just draw the monster? I think we can summon a defense position at least. Right. Boom! God balls, man. You, dude, this guy just had everything, and we had nothing. That's all that happened. Freaking Yu-Gi-Oh, man! Ten monsters in our deck. Ten freaking monsters. We draw one, and we went through ten cards. 10 cards. No, we, yeah, we like eight cards. What's the odds of that? The odds are not that high, man. Oh, look at that platinum rank staring at us. Shh. Come on. Come on. We're getting platinum on this video. I'm not stopping this video until we get platinum. It's going to be 40 minutes or an hour. I don't care. Let's do this. We're getting platinum today on the road to the king of games. Uh, this guy has been platinum or gold. I don't I forget what that symbol is. But yeah, we're going to take him out. Don't matter. It don't matter. Let's take him out. Power dark. Here we go. No mistakes. No mistakes. Namaste. Here we go. <laughs> Again with the low monster count. All right. It's all good. Some games we draw five monsters in a row. And some games we draw no monsters. At least we have one. Let's put up a fight this time. The fact that we drew the effects dinosaur and then two order charges is the thing that really gets us on that last game. It's like, come on. Come on. You know what would be cool if he tries to drop one of our traps during the battle phase and he trap jammers and then we trap jammer his trap jammer? That'd be pretty cool. All right. This is really, this is a good setup. I really like this. This is nice. Now we just need to draw monsters. Please. Even Sphere Karibos. Anything except Magic Traps. There's eight in the deck. We have three. Five. There's only five in the deck. It's like a one in three chance of drawing it. Just don't even. <sighs> okay. Twister. That's not good. But that's okay. It's okay. 
It's okay. We have Metal Morph. We're still in 1900 with Metal Morph. Let's, let's hopefully he summons something and attacks into our monster. All right, 1700. I believe he's just 1700 beat stick. Okay. Set this card face down. Attack. Banner of Courage. That makes it a 1900. The one time Banner of Courage actually does something. And he has two traps. If we don't draw a monster, we're in serious trouble. <laughs> the one time reinforcements would come in more handy than Metal Morph. Jeez. And here's Mirror Wall, though. Mirror Wall, I wouldn't have Metal Morph in here. I'd have Mirror Wall in here. Balls. Alright, so the question is to use Order to Charge or Metal Morph. Order to charge is probably the safer play here. Because Metal Morph could work on uh, the other Dino guy if we draw him. But Order to Charge is a pretty powerful card. It's just, it's all iffy. So, either way, we just need to draw a monster. Come on. Yo yo! Oh, I said it was okay before. I'm not going to complain. All right, all right, here we go. Of course, of course you draw a monster. Of course you draw a monster. Nine monsters in my deck, and I have 15 cards. The druid, the odds of drawing one is very high. Thank you. All right, it's on like Donkey Kong. If this guy has two trap jammers, I will quit this game forever. <laughs> Please don't have two trap jammers. Get into the damage step. Mirror wall, we still got this. Enter the damage step. Metal morph. Let's go. Good thing we didn't keep the other one. Good thing we used the order to charge. Here we go. There's the trap jammer. I swear to God, if you have two trap jammers. Here it is. Trap jammer, the trap jammer. I think I even talked about this play early on. Please do not have Trap Jammer. Go! Go! Yu-Gi-Oh, baby! That's how we do it! That's how we do it! Mmm! Heart of the cards. What is that other trap? It's not Mikazuri and it's not Trap Jammer. What would you play? Mirror Wall. Mirror Wall wouldn't have done it. It could be Mirror Wall because Mirror Wall would not have helped. And then it couldn't be activated. My turn is done. My turn is done. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to set this twister just in case. Nah, I shouldn't have set it. I have Sphere Karibo. All right. Well, let's do this attack. Because it could be Mirror Wall. It's not Mirror Wall. There was no load. There was not. There was no load there. So it's, I don't think it's anything. I think it's just a bluff. It's nothing. It's a magic. I still believe. You don't believe enough, Yugi. Let's go. Nice top deck. Each of your standby phases. All for one monster as a field as a tribute. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, this is where Sphere Kribo comes into play. Now we just need to draw a monster. Crap, dude. It could be Magical Arm Shield. We could play around it. We could play around Magical Arm Shield. During each of your standby phases. Okay, we'll just end our turn here just in case he has Mirror Wall. 
I don't see why it mattered. That guy looks pretty cool when it's out like that. He has to offer himself as a tribute. Did he draw another monster? I swear to God if he drew another 2,000 attack monster. Okay. All right. Once again, we have 12 cards left in our deck. We have eight monsters we can draw. Come on. There it is. So Magical Arm Shield is now the card he can have. So if it's Magical Arm Shield, we'd want to attack with Rex first. And then attack. No, we'd want to attack with... Either way, we attack with uh, Elemental Source first. Because if you Magical Arm Shields, he'll take Rex, and then we'll attack, and we'll gain the attack with Metalmore. So we're good. So we attack with Rex first, no matter what. And it negates effects for face downs. So it's all above. It's the best. It is Magical Arm Shield. Oh, it's Magical Hats. I did not see that coming. So he's going to add two spaces. Alright. Let's see it. If we hit that monster with Elemental Source, we have a 1 in 3 chance of winning the game right now, you guys. Oh, the cards he puts. Judgment of Anubis doesn't do anything. Cloning doesn't do anything. Okay. I was going to say Statue of the Wicked. We're still attacking that middle monster. Art of the Cards, guide us. Alright, we'll go to the right. Freaking Magical Hats. Who would have thought? Elemental Doom. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, the odds of him winning is very low, but let's see what happens. Jeez, what an intense game. And what, like I said, this part, this journey, you guys, for this episode, we are going to go until we get that platinum. Congratulations, you went. Oh, he scooped his cards. That's, thank you. Thank you. Make the, uh, make it a little quicker on us. You know, everyone's probably playing ranked right now because it's about to, the season's going to end. You guys ready? We need like two more wins probably to get to that plat. Let's do this. Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Rank resets in 40 minutes. Oh my god. Holy guacamole, guys. Here we go. Alright. We got a wrong gamer with using Joey Wheeler. What, does he have that luck technique that one guy was using in that in our like episode two or whatever it was? Because that was crazy shenanigans. No, he's using life point boost. Alright. Three monsters and a wing and a wing Karibo, sphere Karibo. Are we going first? We are. This is good. This is a good hand. All right, no traps and we got this. Don't have any traps, my homeboy. Also, don't three star combo me for game. <laughs> Big wave, small wave. That's another one. Ah, uh, there's a trap. He's already playing his traps. What a man. All right, so let's hope it's not. Whatever you got, dude, I'm gonna, I'll deal with it. Uh, Mikazuri, Mirwall. Mirwall would probably do work. Especially this early in the game. Enchanted Javelin won't do squat, man. Good. Good. We're playing against a guy that doesn't look like he knows how to use this or doesn't have that great of cards. No offense to people that don't have great cards. Because we've been playing against people that have some fancy cards. Alright. End the turn. Let's see it. Sets another monster. Oh, we got this in the bag. Here we go. The bag is getting full. Crawling Dragon with our King Rex and our Elemental Source. We'll attack with the Elemental Source. Negates effects. Doesn't matter. Get gone. 1900, 1900. Good thing you have that life point boost that's keeping you alive. Actually, no, you'd be at 100. And the turn. I'm not giving up because uh, I believe. Well, you got a Regeki, bro? Because I don't think there's Regeki. This guy refuses to scoop. See, look what happens. We don't even draw any magics or any traps. We just beat them down. So you just need to draw the monsters. I don't know why we're only drawing monsters or we're only drawing magic or traps. 
Jeez, these games would be so much quicker. All right, you guys, here we go. That's a win. Let's keep it up. Let's get that platinum. Get that platinum. Shake it out. Shake it out. Okay. Here we go. Not yet. Not yet. All right. I see you. I see you. Let's get on up. Is that two wins in a row? Alright. Win and you'll gain a rank. Lose and you'll lose a rank. Alright, Yami Yugi. We're going second. Dang, we need to go first against Yami Yugi. Alright. Three monsters and a magic. Like I've said before, we're not going to complain when we actually draw some monsters. Can we do something though? If we were gone first, this would have been nice. Opponent is gonna take his time. He's gonna let his uh, his little uh, what's that called? It's hourglass. He's just gonna wait it out. He's got what 180 seconds. He's gonna just sit here, and he's gonna be like, you know, everyone's trying to get king of games. I'm just gonna take my time. Starts the game with the D spell. What a man. Dispel. Have no monsters. Ha! That's what you get for playing D spell first turn. Ooh, got the memo. Hmm, that could be a trap jammer. I'm a little scared. Trap jammer would be a problem. But I can deal with golden apples. No, that's definitely not golden apples. That turn went quick. That's like a magic or something. That's a magical ass. Magical arm shield is what I would think. Or a trap jammer. Do you think it's seriously a trap jammer? It could be a metal morph too. I can't risk it. I have to risk it. Because if that's like a metal morph or reinforcements, I cannot activate it right now. If it's trap jammer though, good riddance. Good job. Of course it's a trap jam. Damn it. I should have just gone for it. That would have been more fun for you guys to watch if I just activated it before he attacked. Well, we're not done yet. Here we go. That's the, He just drew that last turn too, so he needs to draw another monster. And we have Ryoku, so we're good. We're dealing, we're dealing 1600 to the face right now. Also why I went with the safer play, because the other play would have definitely been not as safe, my friend. But uh, we're good. That would have been pretty funny, though. Because I would have won right now. It would have been game over. If uh, we would use Metal Morph on his main phase, is what I'm saying. Because Trap Jammer can only be activated during the battle phase. He drew another monster! What a man! That's a 1500, my friend. Block attack, huh? This card is sort of a battle, pay 1500. Alright, can't pay 15. Bring it on. Wanna attack? Wanna attack, little man? Huh? Wanna attack? We got a Sophia Karibo! Boom! Throw in the bag. Throwing it down. Is that a, is that a GG no re? GG no re. Good game, no rematch. Oh, and we got an order to charge for protection after this turn if you were to survive the turn. Man, and he might, he might have Karibo, so we're just gonna, we're gonna make sure, we're gonna set it down, we're gonna make sure we do it right, negate that effect if you had one, and oh, voila. GG, boys, GG, let's get that platinum. Let's get that platinum. Let's get that platinum. Come on. Give it to me. Karibo! Platinum, baby! Platinum! That's how we do it! This is how we do it! This is how we do it! Alright, so, we got Platinum. We got... That was a Gold 1, too. Gold 1's gonna stand a chance against us. What is this game doing right now? You crazy. You think the Gold 1's are gonna beat the Gold 5? I mean, sorry. I mean, Plat 1? 
Uh, so we're in Platinum, and I think there it goes to Plat 3. And so for the next, stay tuned for the next Road to King of Games. On our journey, you guys, it'll be our final journey for this kind of mini, mini series or this mini journey we're doing here, mini path. A mini adventure, there we go. Um, because the, the rank is about to reset here in 35 minutes. And so I'm just going ham. And these are going to be a few different episodes for you guys. Around 30 minutes a pop. But stay tuned. Can we... So next ep next episode will be 30 minutes basically. And we'll see if we can get King of Games somehow. Basically we're going to have to win 11 plus duels in a row. But we could do this. You could do it. Let's do it. Alright. Once again you guys, thanks for watching. And subscribe and check out the channel for more. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and Simply. Oh, lucky. Signing out.